And you say they made it after you placed the Moonstone? Do you know why, or what it means? Does it have to do with the Snidgets? The breadth of one's knowledge can be as wide as the seas, and yet only run so deep. It's good to see you again, Doran. Did Poppy tell you about everything that's happened? She did, and I am glad to see that you are both safely returned. I did question the wisdom of sending you on a path at a time when that path was unknown at best. Deadly at worst. But the acumen of the centaurs is neither personal nor partial. The skies tell us what is to come, and often we do not know what we have seen until it has come to pass. You knew the poachers would try to kill Poppy and me. I did not know, my young friend. But I shall say that I was not surprised. It was in much the same manner that I expected our first meeting. I don't suppose you'd like to start from the beginning. I think Poppy and I could use that. Of course. I find it is often the best place to start, is it not? Many, many moons ago, I divined a series of events. Their meaning long evaded me, until you brought news of the Snidgets and their poacher pursuers. I believe the symbol created by the Mooncalves dance marks the place the Snidgets are hidden, and serendipitously, I believe that I know the very place. Please, go on. I have seen that symbol only once, on a rock face in the cliffs of the forest. You should make haste there. The Snidgets that have been kept there for so many years may no longer be safe. You said you divined a series of events before our paths crossed. What were they? I saw the arrival of a stranger, the threat of an enemy, and the return of an old friend. I believe now that you are the strangers, the poachers are the enemy, and the old friends are the Snidgets. I also saw two places tied to these events, the cave with the moonstone and the henge. The latter was bathed in moonlight. What makes you so sure the symbol is where the Snidgets are? I do not know. It is what I have read in the stars. Fortunes play out as they are intended. I am merely a messenger. I shall say that fortune favors us today. That you would show me a symbol whose provenance I recognize is not coincidence, but fate. If you're right about this place, then we should make our way there. I shall see you there. We cannot afford to lose the Snidgets once again. How remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalves made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there, could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Graham's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone.
I wonder if the pillars move at all. it has to do with the light in the darkness. It has to do with the light in the darkness. That did it! Look, Doran, a doorway! I suspect we all know what lies in your that passage. And now, I'm afraid I must leave. At least for a time. You're not coming in with us. Look at the murals on the wall. They're all creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. What makes you say that? The post has always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. Revelio. Leviosa. This isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how Rebellion. to get through? Incendio! The plate 
floor has symbols on them. Rebellion. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Rebellion. Lumos. 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 Rebellion. Forgot how to cover your track. What was that? Not Dolan. That's for certain. Let's bring her!
I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw. Finish your work here, brother. The events have not yet come to pass. There, there they are. Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to... I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. now. They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance... <sighs> no harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them, and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. There's Ollivanders. I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's Wand. Revelia. Otego! Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic. Said you need to have a special wand crafted. That you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. 
My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the Wand Maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened.
Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Olive Amber's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. We can only hope that we're not too late, and that we find nothing. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Damn, the goblins! The window of Ranrock is here. Let's go! If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Search the area! It must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Renrook will be pleased with our progress. I won't. You can't stop You will never see. stands between us and him. We need to move it. Now I shall handle it. One moment. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh,
Very perceptive, my young friend. It worked. Let's go. Lumos! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! Listen, more goblins up ahead. What? It's the student! And they're from... Fools of the flesh! Rather up one coming back this way. I won't. Uh, one less human. These tunnels haven't brought us much luck so far. Revelio. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms.
wand! Quickly! We got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I have decided to open the repository. Its power cannot lie dormant for centuries more. After everything you've seen? What about Isadora's fate? No, you're right. I haven't forgotten. The cost is too high. Perhaps this magic is best kept contained. I'm relieved to hear that. I know the power is tempting, but I'm glad you've decided to keep it contained for now. And whilst that may be the right decision in this moment, I confess, I have been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her, and the others, sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I plan to keep it a secret for now, but in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either.
forever, Anmok. There's no way to fight. Give up now!
Miriam. Young friend. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation... charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And, of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I can't believe we lost Fig. I didn't know him as well as you did, but I know he was a good man. Glad Weasley spoke for him. She honored him well. Fig will be well remembered. I wish the same could have been done for my uncle. I wonder if there's a chance Anne would meet me. Sebastian, I can't imagine what you and Anne are going through. Perhaps you'll hear from her soon. I hope so. I, I'll let you know. Sebastian. There's something you should know. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if he faced quite a fight. The rumors are true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait! What... what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. It was the Loyalists. It's always been them. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. 
Once Rookwood allied with Ranrock, Isadora's estate became of interest to them both. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw your sister, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her, and she's never been the same. So cruel. Rookwood deserved what he got. Thank you for telling me. It wasn't a goblin. I suppose I owe you an apology. All this time I thought goblins were the enemy. But it was never that simple. Ominous said he's spoken with Anne. I wonder if she'll see me. I'll find out and send word when I know more. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Hallow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Hallow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Hallow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. Keep an eye out. Hallow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. I'll make you wish you... Gullible children! And Gringo! As when they send me right. You will get what is coming to you! Nice one! Allow me to put you out of your way! You've made a grave mistake! What's your back? They got what they deserve. That's Pulso! Little Nat Sionai, innit? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. This will not end in your face. Come on, you can do better than that. 
Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you? How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I received your owl. What's happened? 
Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad to know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Highwing is nice company, but perhaps it's time to add a few more friends to your circle. I am starting to see the appeal of a uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone, and share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumours. You've ridden a graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. 
how did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Flu powder? This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yay! And now we can finish the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey! Hey! And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits... I'd say 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Hey! <laughs> Woo!